Hi, welcome to ComputerCopilot.com. In this tutorial, we're going to talk about Photoshop and go through the 101s of Photoshop. Basically, in Photoshop, it's a pretty handy tool. You can do quite a bit with it, from web design to print design, any kind of graphic design. It's a really, really cool program. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to set up a real quick, basic postcard. So as you can see, I'm in Photoshop right now, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go to File and New. What that's going to do is it's going to bring up a little prompt with a window, and it's going to say, what do you want to do? And so it doesn't really say that, but that's basically what we're going to do. So I'm going to go ahead and leave it at Custom, and there's all these different presets. There's a default Photoshop size, US paper, international paper, photo, web, mobile and devices, film and video, or custom. And in each of these, there are presets that you can choose from. So under film and video, we have the size NTSC DV, we have the widescreen, we have PAL, we have HD, and then we have DVC Pro. We have all of these different, and even film 2K and 4K, if you're doing a feature film. So there's all these presets that you can use. The same with mobile devices. There's these 176 pixels by 208, and it goes through a bunch of standard web sizes and devices. Same thing with the website, different sizes of pages, and then it even gives you banners. So there's all of those kind of neat things that you can do right within the setup page. But I'm just going to go to custom, which is a custom preset. It has my width and my height, and then it has, <clears throat> excuse me, it has the pixels or the way that it's going to be displayed in pixels, inches, centimeters, millimeters, points, picas, or columns. And I use for web, I use pixels. For print, I use inches. Since we're going to do a postcard, I'm going to choose inches. And the resolution is another thing to look at. Resolution, or the DPI, you've probably heard, dots per inch, is 72. On a website, 72 DPI is great. That's a great um, resolution for pictures to be crystal clear, but not very big file sizes. Print, if you did something like this, it would be blurry. Um, minimum for print, or you know, that's one of the main ones, is 300. If you do 300 resolution, it obviously increases the image size or the file size compared to 72, but it also holds a lot more information so that it doesn't turn out pixelated. So once we do that, there's also advanced coloring. You can turn that on or off. In this tutorial, we're just going to cover the basics right here. So I'm going to do my width as 6 inches and my height at 4 inches for a 4 by 6 postcard. Now if I were going to do it and then have a full bleed I would add um, a little bit to that but we'll get into that later. For now we're just going to do it design reasons postcard and we'll put postcard as the name. Then we're going to go ahead and hit OK. Now what that did is that created a postcard for me, or the postcard size. So you can you can bring it up, zoom it down, all of that kind of stuff. And I have other tutorials that go over the tools, but this is what it looks like. But as you can see, my rulers are still in pixels. And the way to change that is going to your preferences, and they have units and rulers and you want to make sure that your rulers are in inches and hit OK. Now you can see they're in inches, six inches wide by four inches tall. And that's how you set up a document for a postcard. And then it also comes with the layer, but this layer is locked. You can do two things. You can create a new layer by clicking down here and that adds another layer. Or you can double click on this layer and unlock it and you can choose different colors. We'll just leave it like that and unlock. And now if I want I could start putting things on this page. If you don't have it unlocked when you go to type it's going to create a new layer. 
So instead of typing on this layer, it created a new layer here. So that's something to, to notice if you like keeping your layers nice and clean and have everything there. That's something that you'll want to be aware of.